Hello folks and welcome to the second morning of our first ever cruise. That is Amsterdam behind me. I think that's the wrong side of it. There's nothing there that particularly stands out as something I recognise from when I've been to Amsterdam previously. And when we got off the ship yesterday, it was the other way. So Amsterdam proper, I think, is behind us. But we are, as I say, waking up our second morning on the cruise ship. And today has two big things going on. Big thing number one, as you can see, we are docked in Amsterdam. We are here all day. We don't sail away until midnight tonight. So we are going to be heading out into Amsterdam and doing some Amsterdam things. But also today is black tie night here on the cruise. So when we get back on the ship after our Amsterdam adventure, we are going to get suited and booted and head out into the ship and be proper fancy cruise people. So I guess I need to go and finish my coffee and Go and start doing those things. So after our aborted attempt yesterday and then waiting for the rain to stop this morning, we are finally out and about in Amsterdam. That is the, uh, the cruise terminal in Amsterdam. If you ever find yourself here, I imagine the only reason you would need to know where the cruise terminal is is if you were getting off a cruise ship and then you'd probably know anyway. It is interesting to see. We could have hired Amster bikes over there or got some Dutch design souvenirs didn't notice them yesterday. What I am reliably informed by Google Maps is that just up here, there is a tram stop. And that tram will then take us to Central Station where we can change onto another tram and get properly into the city centre. It's a couple of minutes walk up here, then it's pretty much all trams. So we've decided to tram it rather than getting a taxi. And I think that is the tram stop just in front of us. So easy peasy, I hope. One thing we have noted is when we do our next cruise, and I think we are at the point where we're, we know we're going to have a next cruise, but when we have the next one, I think we're bringing your scooter, aren't we? Because uh, it's a lot more walking than she's been used to, although you've not had as much pain lately, have you? I've but had yeah, she now has new pains that have been formed by. I mean, we've been doing like 20,000 steps a day even just getting around the ship and exploring on there. So it is a, an energetic holiday. We should have brought the scooter. We just, we're still learning with scooter stuff. We should just bring it anyway, regardless. Well, we found the tram stop. It is literally just outside the, uh, the passenger terminal. If we'd have known this was here yesterday, we might have ventured into town last night, but there was just such a long queue to get on the tax to get into the taxis last night and it was pouring with rain we just didn't think to cross the road we were literally stood there in the previous video just the other side of the road outside that but we found it now there's no ticket machine or anything here so i think it is just swipe phone like it is on most public transport these days but here it comes two minutes to get us to central station and then from there we know from being here before we can get anywhere relatively easily. The trams here are great. Easy peasy, two minutes on there. And now this looks a lot more familiar from the last time we were in Amsterdam. And we can just jump onto any of the trams into any direction from here. They did announce, they did announce on the tram that it's card only now. So they've obviously changed that over in the last two years since we were here before. Um, but I think our plan is to head for Dam Square because we want to go to the rubber duck shop, which is over there. So I think we're going to jump on another tram in a second. We just need to figure out which is the right one. There's so many. It's like the best tram place in the universe. Scratch that. My glamorous assistant has informed me of a plan change. We are going to go and do the thing we wanted to do last time that we didn't get to do because the last time we were here, it was a heat wave. It was 40 degrees and we had to go home on the train in the heat. Don't want to get into it, but you can go to Tony's Chocoloni and get a personalized Tony's chocolate bar, which is just over here, if I remember rightly. And we're going to go and try and do that. I don't know if you have to book in, but we're going to go and try. And regardless, up here anyway, there's this stuff. We're going to head up here for the stuff we're in. And I think we're in the queue for the uh, personalized chocolate bars. That's the plan. They've got little computer things over there. I think you go and set up what you want, and then you come back for it later in the day, failing that on that wall. They just have all the different flavors you could possibly imagine. And then they've got Easter stuff over here. They've got a six pack. If you like Tony's chocolate, and everyone knows it, it's the best chocolate. If you like Tony's chocolate, this is awesome. There we have all of the uh, 
various instructions for what you can do. Choose your colours, choose your chocolate that's in it, put your name on it. I'm such a child, but I've wanted to do this for two years. So I've already ordered mine. I was too excited to be able to film, but Anna is now picking hers, so she's chosen her chocolate. She's now choosing the fillings that she wants in her chocolate. So what was that? Raspberry and... What was decisions? Raspberry and popping candy. And then, so she chose white chocolate at the top, and then you choose the colour of your designs. So what you want all the different colours of the wrapper to be. And then you can put your name on it, and it tells you when to come pick it up. I have to put my phone number in, I'll get a text when it's ready. It said it'll be ready in like three hours. So we'll just loop around and then come back here and pick it up on the way back to the ship. Glad we came here first, knowing that it's three hours to get it. But behind there is where they're then making them all which is uh, it's awesome. As a nerd who likes to look at the mechanism, that is quite cool to see back there. So chocolate bar were ordered. That was basically the main reason we decided to come to Amsterdam. Um, we did quite fancy getting some, uh, some of the lovely frits from over there, but the queue is massive because it is one o'clock, so it's lunchtime. So I think we're gonna head up to Dam Square. The rubber duck shop is up there somewhere. I remember from last time we wanna go and get some rubber ducks. We'll head up to Dam Square maybe grab a bite to eat up there, loop back round and try and squeeze some chips in on the way back because they are delicious and you have the choice of like a thousand different mayonnaises and sauces. It's incredible. I would go there just for the mayonnaise, but we're having a little wander up this way. We did look on Google Maps because heading for Dam Square, um, we looked at getting the tram, but it's apparently as close, we're as close to it from where we are now as we are to the tram stop. It's five minutes walk up here to get to Dam Square and another five minutes back the way we came to get back to the tram stop, so we may as well just keep on walking and we can have a little look around while we walk up here. I don't think we ever walked this route last time because our hotel was way over that side of the city. We'd come in on the tram here and I remember it being a really long walk to get where we're going. So it's almost as if saying more centrally in the city is more convenient for getting around. Who would have thought? Here we have it, boys and girls. We have made it to Dam Square where we are going to try and find some bitter bar, and I think I mean, I think we had them from there last time, so that's probably a good enough spot. I also think the rubber duck shop is over there. So I think we approached from that direction when we were here before. Here but you go. Lots of touristy stuff to see. Madame Two Swords is over there. Darius, bits and bobs. It's so weird, just wandering around a city, smelling devil's lettuce constantly. But each to their own, I guess. Not really my thing, but... Uh, Dam Square. I need my bitter ballad now, it's essential. It's basically what I'm here for, that and the chocolate. We're trying to find the rubber duck shop from memory because when you put it into Google Maps, it sends you to one that's about a mile and a half away that I did walk to last time, so I thought it was the only one. But then we were out and about in this area and stumbled across a bigger and better one. I'm sure it's down this street, so we're exploring this street and hoping we kind of just stumble across it again before Anna runs out of leg power. It's a cool street, to be honest. You're getting yourself some funky clothes. And navigating from memory has proven to be a roaring success because here we have the Rubber Duck Store, which is exactly as you would imagine. It's a store that just sells loads of rubber ducks, including, where is she? They've got a shark one, and I love sharks. They also have Pokemon, Superman, just, I'm, I mean, we're buying some ducks. Obviously, goes without saying. I think last time I got a Batman duck and a giraffe duck. What's she spotted? What have you spotted over here? Oh, jewelry, this is dangerous. Oh, okay. Are you having a piercing, Dem? Shall I have a piercing, Dem? Well, I can have a, um, a sapphire and a 50 euro. Well, do it then, if you want to. You're on holiday, get a new hole. I think that's the rule. I already have the hole. Well, there you go then, just poke a sapphire through it. Well, here's an Amsterdam tip I didn't think I'd be giving in this video. Um, we have made purchases from the duck shop. They don't really have prices on anything in there. Um, and in fact, when I got to the till, the lady was like, oh, if you grab another one of those, you get it for just 10 euros. Um, it's on an offer if you get three of the ones off of that shelf. So I grabbed another one. I'll show you everything we've got when we sat down somewhere. Um, but because the prices aren't on anything and we just kind of 
grabbed what we like the look of for us, for the kids, well, for one of the kids. Uh, we just spent 185 euros on rubber ducks. I'm not proud of myself, but at the same time, they are awesome. I will show you what's in this bag once we're sat down somewhere. <laughs> it's absurd. Right, we've sat down to have some lunch, we're having some bitter barlin and some zero percent Dutch beers. But I thought you'd want to see what 185 pounds off of rubber ducks look like. So this is the one she upsold me, forced me to get a Sonic the Hedgehog one. That was on a, a three for 30 euro deal with this shark, because Anna loves sharks. She loves sharks. Um, and also a Pikachu duck to go with my Batman one that I got last time. But then the expensive ones, this is where the money was spent. So that one is for Andy, because he likes space stuff. So he gets a space duck. I have no idea how much that one was. And then I know these ones were the expensive ones, the ones that are for me and Anna. Um, so Anna got one of these tubs ones. Is that what they're called? Yeah, tubs, um, proper licensed ones. So she got a troll. What you got? There you go, a first edition troll. She was big into trolls back when trolls were cool. And anyone who's watched any of my convention vlogs knows I have a rule where if I see a toy with my name on, I have to buy it. Um, so I got Kevin the Minion. It's Kevin with Fart Blaster. Which could be the name of this video. That one slipped by her. Um, and then we also, uh, and I got a key ring. What's the key ring? A duck. A duck. Wow, it's a duck. What sort of duck? Yellow. Just a, just a normal yellow duck. There we go. And boys and girls, that is how you spend 185 euros in a rubber duck shop in Amsterdam. They Make definitely, yeah, they saw us coming for sure. But now I'm gonna have my favorite snack in all of the world. It's bitter ball and a clock. Look at us being all European. <laughs> Bavaria zero. Cheers. It could do with a special lemonade. These 0% uh, beers are getting better, boys and girls. Still nothing up there with Guinness Zero, but that's pretty good. And five years ago, I don't think you could have walked in here and got one. And here we go, folks, the main event of the entire trip. Bitter Ballen with excellent little jar of mustard. The 0% beer. Are they as good as we remember them being? Oh no. They're hot. Oh no. <laughs> so they're quite hot then. It seems continuing our pursuit of all the Dutch essentials. We've now been to the supermarket and got some Stroop waffles, some noppers and some fused tea. It's getting all the best things. Um, we're tempted by the cheese shops, but I'm already quite heavily laden with food products. But I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be allowed to bring back on the ship. I guess we're going to find that out when we get there. Of course, already having loads of food on us isn't going to stop us queuing for more food. Um, we're at the, the chip place. This is the queue to get into the queue. That's when you know it's good chips. So, chips incoming. Also, our chocolate bars are ready, and this is conveniently just opposite the road from where we got to pick those up from. So, we're gonna have chips, grab chocolate bars, and then just head back down there and head back onto the ship, I think. And that will be a whirlwind, whirlwind like three hours out in Amsterdam, where we've done absolutely everything we came to do which is awesome. Here we are then, this is the good eating. Lovely fries with lovely Flemish mayo. Oh, it's very big, isn't oh, it? Oh, the fork what is there. What is happening there? I was trying to be clever what my fork is there. They're nice, that did not go to plan. And almost as if we planned it, perfectly timed. It is now time to head back to Tony's and pick up our personalized chocolate bars. So I've left Anna over there eating our chips. I'm going to come in and grab those. And there we have, personalised with my YouTube channel colours, ish. It's the best I can do as a colourblind person. Uh, my name is on the side of it as well. I think Anna's opening hers up. So rather than opening them both, there you go. Confirmation, you do get your name on the side. I think they were £8 each. Just a little bit of fun. £8.99, there you go, or €8. Euros. Um, a lot of fun. And... Uh, Personalised flavours, well, I can't even remember. I think I got pretzel and cinnamon as my flavour. It's uh, slave-free chocolate. Slave-free chocolate as well, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Those of you who watch my Twitch streams, and it should be all of you who watch my Twitch streams, but those of you who do and have heard me go on and on about the... Yeah, that's it. And have heard me go on and on about the sausage roll with curry sauce in that I randomly got the last time we were here. It was from this supermarket. 
I'm not going to get one today because I'm stuffed with all the food we've already eaten. But uh, that's the place if you want to get one. Um, Anna is now making a beeline for Jammin, the sweet shop just here, because it is an awesome sweet shop, which last time we were here she spent far too much money in. And I imagine we're now in for a repeat performance. We both know you're going to spend a fortune in there now. Look at it. Look at all those sweets. That is what I call a sweet shop. So was that more or less than you spent last time? Go on, more or less. 17 euros on pick and mix. That is true. And I got myself some of my uh, delicious favourite Dutch mints as well that I once imported a massive tub of. Just saw them sat there on the counter and I thought I was buying a pack of cigarettes, I think. But uh, mints, yummy, yummy, yummy. And with that, boys and girls, we are heading back to the tram and then in turn back to the ship. So say goodbye to Amsterdam. This is the last you will see of it, the last we will see of it on this trip because once we're back on the ship, we've got the black tie thing this evening and then we sail away at midnight tonight. So we won't see it during the sail away because we'll be fast asleep having had our lovely evening Horlicks. So I will meet you back on the ship, which is over there somewhere, I think. I think it was, I think this was where we got off before. We'll figure it out, probably. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you Suit Man. Um, this shirt is very creased and I tried putting on the horrible clown shoes and they just hurt. So ultimately they're either gonna let me wear Air Force Ones, or we're gonna to go to the buffet. And I'm comfortable with either option at this point. I've tried to clean them up a little bit, but boys and girls, that is as smart as I get. And I'll show you Anna once she's finished faffing. And there she is, look, it's Anna in a dress and a smile. There we go, we got there in the end. She's even got a handbag, look. I don't think I've ever seen you hold a handbag before. Have, Come on. I have Disney bags. For the thumbnail. Look at us, not with my jacket in the background. <laughs> Look at us being all smart and snazzy. <laughs> Was that a big smile? I like a big smile. Right, we should go and post pictures everywhere. Oh, we're snazzy. Right, I am leaving the camera here for this because there's nowhere in this suit for me to put a camera. So I'll tell you all about it on the other side. I might even be able to snatch a couple of little clips on my phone, uh, but the audio is likely to be not great. So this might be a montage. It might just be me jumping to me in an hour and a half when I've got my tracksuit back on. Well, we made it until 9 p.m. before realizing black tie night really not our thing we went down for our meal it was nice i took a few clips of what we had um i had a weird uh <laughs> basically a chicken nugget as a starter and i got some lovely french onion soup she got a beef wellington which she'd never had before and enjoyed i got some lovely pork fillet but i couldn't eat the pork cracklings last time i did that i hurt my teeth and then sorbet and a nice little I want to say chocolate brownie thing that I had for dessert. Um, there was there was a mousse bouches. There was a starter and a soup course. We just had, I had a starter, she had a soup. They brought us a little chocolate at the end. I think it was officially a six course meal. I am stuffed and I am so ready to get out of this ridiculous costume. You can see my clip on bow tie is almost done. Um, there, there is a comedy show, which I'm a little bit, I'll never be a little bit wary of going and watching a comedy show on a cruise ship that's aimed at 50 plus British people because it really probably isn't going to be my kind of comedy. Um, but that was an 8.30 kickoff, so we missed that one. The next one is at 10.30, and I think after multiple late nights in a row, I'm shattered. <laughs> I'm really tired. We did a lot of walking around Amsterdam today. I don't think we can go and start a comedy show at 10.30. So I think we're probably going to get an early night. Anna, come out here because this is an excellently lit position and I want us both to be in the shot with the pretty lights behind us because I actually think this is a very snazzy shot that we can use for a thumbnail. So we need to stand you on a box or something. <laughs> there you go, look. There we are with the pretty lights behind us that we can use as a thumbnail shot. Try not to get the block, there you go. <laughs> What's that green line? That's the audio. Mm. Um, but you had a good time? Yeah, yeah. I think next time, and I think at this point there probably is gonna be a next time, but I think next time we might give Black Tie Night a miss. We spoke to some people in the lift on the way back, which not like us, I know, we spoke to some people, you but they were, yeah, they were in like their, uh, 
their hoodies, baseball caps, having just, just come back from happen. Amsterdam. And uh, they were like, yeah, we're just going to go to the buffet, go and put our joggers on and go to the buffet. And I think, yeah, they're very wise. As much as I haven't necessarily enjoyed the buffet experience and do prefer the sit-down meals, I think tonight probably would have been a good buffet night because... I just feel really overdressed and out of place. I don't dress like this ever. I don't enjoy dressing up. Do you enjoy dressing up? No. Anna does not enjoy dressing up. So I, I don't want people to get the wrong impression because I've done a lot of TikToks on this trip. You should look at the TikTok link down in the description below. And I think some people are getting the impression that we're not really enjoying the cruise. And I'm having a really good time. I really am enjoying it. I think we are going to do another one. Unless tomorrow, which is our big sea day, because we leave Amsterdam at midnight tonight and get back to Southampton about midnight tomorrow and get off the next morning. So unless tomorrow is a nightmare of a sea day and I'm just vomiting everywhere, <laughs> I think we probably are going to book future cruises, but we are learning some lessons. I think there's going to be a proper follow-up video where we actually talk about what we've learned, what we'd do differently next time. But I think this is something that is something we'll probably not bother with next time but hopefully you have enjoyed the video i've enjoyed the i enjoyed the meal the meal was really good uh, but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a nice big thumbs up on it for us subscribe to the channel there's still more of this trip to go and then we've got so much travel planned um for just the first half of this year there's like five or six trips we're going to be all over europe lots of cool stuff lots of different modes of transport as well so make sure you subscribe for all that and thank you very much for watching